Fourth down and inches. We pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. This is South Florida 7, WCKT Miami. Like a couple of expectant fathers, Shula pacing the sidelines. Gibbs irritated. There's Bill Arnsparger. Of course, he's made his defensive call. Let's see who'll win this battle of strategy. Riggins. He's going to go all the way unless Blackwood can catch him, and he can't. Tremendous play, but the key to this play was motion. The motion man coming across and turning around, Don McNeil, cornerback, running with him, slipped and fell. His responsibility to get back to the outside to contain Riggins. He could not get there until the last second. Riggins ran through an arm tackle and carried it all the way into the end zone. John Riggins, the seventh man to run for over 100 yards in the Super Bowl, the first from the National Conference, and he caps it off with a 42-yard touchdown on a fourth and inches. And now the try for point by Mosley. Let's see if we can see McNeil slip. Now he'll be coming across at the bottom of your picture. There, whoops. There he is right th there. He's coming back into your picture. He got back late and just barely got his arms around the waist of John Riggins. You can't tackle Riggins high. And you can't tackle him with just arms. You've got to get some bodies on top of him. Watch him run right through this tackle and on into the end zone. So the star of these playoffs, Jack Kent Cook isn't the only one who loves Riggins. 